Hello everyone, I'm Modi here from the Target Common YouTube channel and this will be continuation of race assured end-to-end framework playlist video series. In this video, we are going to learn to achieve data-driven testing approach with the race assured. Data-driven testing is the key part of API testing. For an example, if you consider this create airline API, this airline API accepts a payload with different fields. So ideally, if you don't pass the ID or you don't pass any specific or required field here, then it should show some er error. So in the real time you need to test the api behavior with the different set of data maybe this airline or create airline api allows you to just pass the id and just the name then what's your the value of the remaining field so there are different flows different scenarios to test this create airline api so in short we can say that we need to run the create airline api with the different set of data to do the same thing we follow an approach called data driven testing we are not going to create multiple test cases for create airline api to run with the different set of data we need to have one implementation of one test and we need to pass the data from outside and all the logic and all the flows should be handled in the same code that is called data driven approach so in this video we are going to learn how can we achieve the data driven testing testing in this session with the help of testng and you can pass the set of data from excel you can pass from json you can use some different tools as well okay you can use the database also so in this video we are going to learn how can we read or how can we pass the data from excel sheet to our Recessive test. So this will be covered in two videos. In the first video, I am going to explain how can we read the Excel data in a form of list of map. We create a very simple Excel sheet. So I'll go to my framework and inside the resource, I am going to add a new folder and I will name it as test data. Let me open this folder in my folder. Let me add a Excel sheet. So click on new and I'm going to have one Excel worksheet. So let me name it as like create airline data. So just suppose we need to create the airline with three fields. So what I want, I want to run create airline API with these five set of data. You can have your expected response code. You can have some validation also. You can have some assertion, error message, whatever you want to use. You can put it here. It's not mandatory that you need to only pass the payload data. I want to read this data in some proper way. I want to read this in a list of map. So how I want to read the data, it should be a list. In this list, I will have the entry like ID equal to then name whatever value i have here similarly country this will be one set of data similarly i will have five rows i have five rows in my excel sheet why should i have the data in this format so based on the key value pair i want to extract the data so let's jump to intellij and uh, that will be a utility so that utility i am going to add under the utils package which is under the src mean java so let me create a new class and the class name i will give excel utils so let me add a static method public static no wide i will have list of you can have hash map linked hash map whatever you want you can have so let me use the linked hash map just to have the order and this will be like a string and a string you can have object also if you want to pass some different set of values like maybe boolean integer double but i prefer read everything as a string and you parse it and i will name it as like get cell data as list of map i require some parameters i need you to pass the file name and pass me the sheet name if you're going to have multiple sheets in, in excel sheet then this will be useful but i will suggest that keep individual excel file for each test case so that excel file will not be heavier and there will be less chances of getting it corrupted that is from my experience so let me create an instance of this return type which i will be returning at the end so it will be simply and i will i will put as like data from excel and new array list and this will be written here now I need to write the logic to read the data from Excel. But before that, I need to add some dependencies. In Java, to read an Excel file, we can use the Apache Poi library. So let me go to pom.xml, add the dependency of Apache Poi. I have already opened the Maven Center repository. Come here and type for Apache POI. So to read the data from Excel, we just require two dependencies. One will be your POI common and another we have OOXML we have a class called workbook factory 
and here we have one method called create here i need to pass the file so i'll use the new file and here if you see i am just expecting you to pass the, the excel file name means there should be one pattern that all the test data should be present in my resources right under the test data package let me copy the path till test data so copy path and i will copy it from content rule and let me paste it here i will simply add the extension xlx and this will give me an handle exception so let me add into the method signature and this will return you workbook i will name it as like workbook so we are done with the first step here you can have to try cache to handle the scenario when the file is not found after that the second step we need to get the sheet so workbook dot get sheet and here into pass the sheet name and this will give you one sheet i want to read the data one by one right row by row so first of all i need to get the total number of rows here so for that we have one method sheet dot get physical number of rows this will give you the total rows present in your excel sheet after getting the total number of rows i want to iterate it so let me use the for loop in i equal to 0 i less than total rows then i plus plus in excel sheet index is are from 0 so i am using the i as 0 so since i need to read this as a map so first i need to get the keys so i'll create a list in which i will store all the keys so list of a string all keys equal to new array list and i also want to maintain the order so i'm using the array list so obviously when i start iterating so first row it will be this one right which will be the my header name so for this what i want to do i need to get the total number of cell value right so i will use in total column and i can use sheet dot get of first row right which will be i then we have one method called get physical number of sales so this will give you how many sales we have so it will give me three right one two three so i'm going to iterate it again so i will use int j equal to zero j less than total column j plus plus like two dimensional array i got the total number of rows then i am iterating each row and i am getting the num total number of columns and then column by column i am simply iterating it sheet dot get row can use here i then get cell j so this actually will be get row of zero dot get cell of zero means i will have this one now okay next iteration it will be zero one then zero two and since those will be as string formats i will use the get string cell value i want to store the keys value in the list all keys whatever we have created after reading the cell value of the header row i am going to add when this out of for loop will go for the next round right so again it will this row is not the header value so i need to have this logic whatever i've written this should be only valid for the first iteration or that is the zeroth row so what i'm going to do here i'm going to add one if condition if i equal to zero then only perform this and here also i can hard code instead of i i will simply put the zero here also i'll put the zero because i know that the first row will be header only so from the second onward i need to add the value like id equal to this name equal to this country equal to this so for that let me create a map so linked has map i will create a string a string and i will name it as like map data i will not initialize it but i will initialize it inside the for loop because i need to reset the map data after the iteration then only it will go and store the next set of values so map data equal to new linked hash map so this logic will be common because i need to get the column value but instead of get row of zero i will put the i this time because it will be one two and three then here g equal to zero total columns everything will be same here also it will be i but instead of adding to the my all keys list value i need to add the value in the key value format so let me extract the value first we have one class called data formatter because suppose if you want to pass the data in some specific format and you want to keep or you want Java to read the data in the same format, then we have one class called data formatter. So let me initialize that one data formatter. So let me use the formatter here data formatter dot format cell value and here I need to pass the sheet dot get row of i then get get cell of j and this will return you a string value after reading the cell value what i need to do i need to add that in my map data right map data dot put and key what is the key i have already stored in the all keys where it will be maintained in order so i will use the all keys dot get of what j because j is pointing from zero so i will get the id then j will go one then i will get the name then country so all keys dot get of j and then i need to pass the cell value and what is the final thing after this in a for loop completion i need to add the map whatever i got after the iterating the row 
I need to add this map into my the final list, right? Which is data from Excel. So let me go and add the data from Excel dot add. And here I need to put the map data. Then again, it will go and iterate further. So at this time, I value will be two. So this part will not be executed. It will come here. Okay. And then it will simply read the value and put into the map again. Right. And here you can see that I am just Deinitializing the hash map means it the old value will gone because I've already added here, so I don't require that one. This is just a temporary variable to store the data. I think I am done here, and what after after all this iteration, it will return me the data as, as format of list of linked hash map. So obviously I should test this code. So let me go and create the one class. This will simply the test class, and I will name it as like Excel test. Let me add a main method and uh, simply I use the sys out. Let me call the Excel util dot get Excel data as list of map. Here I need to pass the map uh, Excel sheet name, what is which is create airline data. Okay, no need to pass dot XLS X also because I am already appending there and the sheet name will be sheet one. I have not changed so it will be default name. Okay, so it is giving some error because I have not handle the exception so let me simply add it here and if i run the program i should get the data in expected format let's see what happens now so here is the data let me copy this and show you in notepad plus plus so here we are we are able to read the data in a list of linked hash map but still you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone